Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching The Batman. Batman! <laughs> Got a little tongue twisted there. I think I did a little too many nanas. This video is brought to you by Honey, the number one shopping tool in America that helps you save big. Honey automatically searches for promo codes and deals so that you don't have to, saving you time and money. I use Honey to help save on virtually everything from groceries to clothing to gifts and more. I am on camera a lot, as you guys know, so I use makeup a fair amount, I use skincare products on a regular basis, and Honey even helped me save on those products too. I also love how easy and seamless it is to use. After adding Honey to my browser, it works effortlessly on all of the websites I frequently shop on. Plus, it's really fun to watch the price come down on my cart at the end. And what's even better is that Honey is completely free to add to your browser, so there is literally no downside to trying it out for yourself. Just click the link in my description or go to joinhoney.com slash nataliegold to get Honey and try it out for yourself today. Let me know what you guys end up scoring discounts on. I'd love to know in the comments down below. Thank you so much to Honey for sponsoring this video, and thank you guys as always for listening to the sponsor. Now let's get back on into the movie. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you, hello you. Thank you to all of my special golden nuggets who stick around, who have subscribed, who watch these movies and shows with me. Oh my God, I just, <laughs> so, this is actually really funny. Today, my snack for the movie is chicken nuggets. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I really didn't mean to do that. I just, I made some gluten-free chicken nuggets because um, I'm filming a lot today and I wanted to eat lunch while watching this movie. It's not really a healthy lunch, but <laughs> I just put two and two together that it's you guys. Okay, never mind. I'm, wow, I'm losing my mind. Okay. <laughs> Let's reel it in. You guys are awesome, crispy little golden nuggets, and I really appreciate you guys. And welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are you? If you like what you see here and you enjoy these kinds of videos, maybe consider clicking that little red button below to subscribe. We definitely have a lot of fun over here. Today, we are finally watching The Batman. I know it's been in theaters for a really long time and was recently released on HBO Max. I think I'm even quite a few days delayed in getting to this movie because I did just go on a trip to the desert where I was camping. It was like an art festival camping experience. It was very fun. If you can't tell, my voice is a little tired. Uh, it's a bit lower as well. I don't really have my high pitches that I usually have. I've noticed it, especially when I try to talk to Coda or Ridley. I have a really hard time using my high pitched voice that I talk to my dogs with. So. Uh, if I sound a little raspy today, that's what's going on. It wasn't Coachella. I'll just say that. No, I did not go to Coachella. I will probably never go to Coachella. It's not really my vibe. Well, actually, I take that back. If somebody wants to pay me to go to Coachella, <laughs> I would totally go to Coachella if someone wants to pay me to go. But I would never go to Coachella <laughs> and use my own money to go there. That's kind of what I mean. So it wasn't Coachella. It was just a small camping thing in the desert. But yeah, I don't really have uh, my voice that much right now. If anything, it's probably pretty fitting because I know Batman speaks in a low, raspy voice, so maybe I could just talk like this the whole reaction, but I feel like that would really get old really quick. Who knows, maybe people would like it, but probably not. <laughs> anyway, I'm in a silly, goofy mood today, and I don't really have that much to say about this movie. I. You know, I'm just kind of excited to see a different Batman flick. The only Batman movie I've ever seen uh, is the Dark Knight trilogy, those three films here with you guys here on my channel. So I'm only really familiar with Christopher Nolan's take on the Batman story. I'm only really familiar with Christian Bale as Batman. So I'm really interested to check out a version that's slightly different. I am a fan of Robert Pattinson. I think he's a good actor. I've only seen him in a handful of movies. I think I saw him in Water for Elephants. I have seen him in Twilight. And I've seen him, of course, as Cedric Diggory in Harry Potter. I'm sure I've seen him in something else that was probably a better representation of his acting range. But it's been a long time since I've seen him do anything. And I'm excited to watch him in this role. I think it 
is probably really fitting for him. I feel like the character of Bruce Wayne kind of makes sense for an actor like Robert Pattinson. I did see that Matt Reeves has directed this movie, so I'm interested to get a little bit more familiar with his work because I don't think I've seen a ton of his work. I did notice that he also has worked on some of the Planet of the Apes films, which is a series of movies I would really like to get to here on my channel. I've put Planet of the Apes in a few of my polls on Patreon. It just has not won yet. Uh, so one of these days, I will get to those movies, whether it's just one or more than one, but I definitely want to check out Planet of the Apes. For those of you guys that don't know, I do have a Patreon page. I always link it in the description bar down below. That's where you can check out my full-length reactions to everything we watch over here on this channel. Those are posted in a watch-along style format, and you can also vote in polls over there and help me decide what I watch next year on my channel and have some say in what we do. I also list my Instagram and Twitter in my description below as well so you can stay connected with me and see what I'm up to in my daily life over there. And yeah, that's kind of all I have to say. I'm just excited to hop on into this movie. It is quite long. It is close to three hours I'm seeing here on HBO Max. So I'm a touch nervous that my voice is gonna die. <laughs> pray for me, fingers crossed, pray for me. But I probably should stop talking and just hop on into this movie so that I can protect my vocal cords for as much as possible today. So if you guys are ready, let's grab a drink, grab a snack. Today mine is chicken nuggets, some golden nuggets. Yummy. <laughs> Sorry, I always laugh when I say the word yummy because Tyler hates it. If you wanna upset Tyler in the comments down below, just write the word yummy over and over and over again. Like. Just say, oh my God, this movie was so yummy. Then I'll know you're a real one because, well, maybe it's mean that I want to upset Tyler, but it, he really hates that word. It's irrational. Anyway, you should have seen him when the Justin Bieber song came out. Anyway, let's get into the movie. Listen, I have a beautiful wife on the other side, okay? And I will not rest. Hey. Oh, shit. those are eyes right there, aren't they? There's horror music. This is really horrific. <laughs> Scared. Oh my god, I don't want the jump scare. I don't want it. Okay, okay, okay. It wasn't as bad as I thought it could be. Oh, you're bye. Bye bye, dude. Bye bye. You're dead. Okay. Fun. A really brutal way to go. So far, the lighting is really beautiful. It's very dark and mysterious and is leaving something to the imagination, which I really like in dramas. I don't like it when everything is so well lit and pristine. <laughs> okay, wait, so were we not killing him? Do we leave him just knocked out? October 31st. Hey, Robert. Two years of nights. I have goosebumps right now, actually. I must choose my targets carefully. This feels very reminiscent of like a 50s detective who done it kind of black and white noir, you know? Especially with his narration, you know? Wow. Oh, they all have Joker makeup on. Huh? Oh, is this initiation for him? They're making him hurt this guy to be a member of their up club? I really liked what they were doing, filming through the subway windows like that. That was a really interesting choice. We have a signal now. The bat signal. Okay, so it's not an origin story. That's good. I wonder who's going to play that cop character that Gary Oldman played, if that's even in this movie. It's going to help this guy. Come on. Come on, Robert. Oh, dude. Come on, man! What are you doing? Look, he doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want to do it. Don't make, don't do it, kid. Oh, this guy, you're about to be lucky, bro. You're about to get lucky. <laughs> what do they think, you suppose her? This guy knows, knows it's the real deal. The hell are you supposed to be? I'm Batman. Oh, is he gonna answer later? Kick his ass first and then answer later, huh? It's interesting that all of them, I guess it's part of the initiation that this- I'm vengeance. Oh, 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 okay. Unexpected answer, that's cool. I guess it's because of the initiation that this guy only has half clown makeup on, but I like it because it's also like signaling how uncertain he is about his decision to maybe even be in this gang, you know? You guys should all just run away. There you go, bye bye. Man, it's really so effective. They're all so afraid of him, it's great. Oh. We're in this guy's house. The politician. No more lies. Ah, uh, he's covered in duct tape. That's what he was doing. So he did kill him. He just wanted to cover him in duct tape. It was for an art project. Thumb was severed. He was alive when it was cut off. Oh, how do, how do you know that? Echimosis. 
Becky, Becky Moses. I don't know what that means, but okay. I trust you. You said there was a card. Gordon. Thank you, closed captions. Gordon. That's his name. What does a liar do when he's dead? Oh, fun. I cut you a lot of slack, Jim, because we got history, but this is way over the line. Is it? Is it way over the line? Oh, he wrote a note to Batman. I lie still. The riddle. What does a liar do when he's dead? Is the Riddler a character in Batman? I feel like I've heard of the, a Riddler before, but I don't know if that's like a Batman character or not. Yeah, kid found him. Ah, uh, no. That's so sad, man. He probably really empathizes for the kid because he lost his parents and was, you know, tra and he was there too, you know. Well, I assume you heard about this. Yeah. He's got a lot of makeup on. He looks so emo and moody. If I can't change things here, if I can't have an effect, I don't care what happens to me. That's all I'm afraid of. Have to stop. Oh, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense then that he would be sinking all this time and trying to save the city because it's like the only thing he cares about. I just think it's a lost cause and you really should quit, but that's kind of like Batman's whole driving purpose is like living through his parents' memory and trying to make the city a better place. There. Oh, okay. He likes to leave clues. Um, try. Jesus. Fun. You know, at a certain point, if I was Gordon, I'd be like, are you committing these crimes, Batman? <laughs> you seem to figure them out really fast. <laughs> Is it you? So much for family values. Yeah. Oh, shit. She might be next. But that's the penguin. Carmine Falcone's right hand. Penguin. I feel like I've heard of that. Oh, the strobe club lighting. It makes everything so disorienting. How you doing? I'm Oz. Oz Penguin? Or they just call him the Penguin? I might have been coming out at the same time, but I wasn't rolling with him. I doubt it. Oh, Zoe! Is she Catwoman in this, or is she just somebody else? What is going on? There's some eye contact going on. She was looking at the photo. She might know who the girl is. Oh, she knows. She knows something. Oh, they're doing some really interesting stuff with the lenses here, with certain things being in focus and other things being really blurry. Like, even here, a lot of the stuff in the background looks almost like a watercolor painting. It really does feel like a an old-school detective movie. Oh, he's following her. Mm. Listen, baby, we're going to get the hell out of here, okay? I promise. I don't think you are. I don't think you are going to get the hell out of here. Oh, I wonder if the girl... Oh, is it her girlfriend? It's her. Yeah, now her face is all over the news. Well, now now you're being a little creepy, Robert. <laughs> oh, they have cats. Maybe she is Catwoman. Yeah, she's Catwoman for sure. We're pretty good at that. Uh, she juked him. Oh, is she not fast enough? Console. Oh, it's her ID. I'm here for my friend. She's trying to get the hell out of here and this son of a stole her passport. Back at your place. Let's go talk to her. That's funny. She's like, ah, I can't shake him. He knows exactly who I am and where I live, so there's no point. He only hands the passport back at that moment where it's like, you gotta, you gotta cooperate with me, I guess. Uh-oh. Audi! Oh no. Oh no, someone came for her. That's really sad. A second high-profile murder in as many nights. His took my phone. Head of the Gotham City PD, Commissioner Pete Savage. The commissioner died too? Hello, people of Gotham. This is the Riddler speaking. The Riddler! It is the Riddler. But I am not done. Great. Oh, fun. I'm so happy they're playing this on the news. We'll soon be losing folks. <laughs> what is he trapped in? He's in some weird cage contraption thing. So many cats. It's so funny. It's like, yeah, she's Catwoman. We're not going to say it, but... You got a lot of cats. Oh. <laughs> Never think about strays. Aw. At least whoever abducted her friend didn't take hurt any of the cats. That's nice. I don't think I could have handled that. I'm mad about you. Want to know my name? Want to know my name? Just look inside and see. How, how, how does this man find such creepy cards? Bring him into the light and you'll find where I'm at. The hell is that? Spooky. Oh God. Oh, he's putting her co his contacts in her. That's a pretty cool invention. Looks good. 
<laughs> a little bit of tension already. Where is this Riddler guy finding these perfect greeting cards that suit the riddles and games he wants to play? Like, is he having them professionally made? I ain't never seen a greeting card. This is as cryptic as the ones he has. Jesus, I hate drop heads. Really? Because when I first saw you, it looked like you were dealing with a penguin. So drops are eye drops. Are they drugs, but they're in eye drop form? That's the DA. Oh, great. And he's coming over. You happy? Talk to him. Fun. Hey, aren't you the DA? Yeah. Wow, he's admitting it. So weird. Do you want to come over? Sure. Uh, <laughs> fun. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like they're high on drops. I mean, this Riddler, he's going after the most powerful people in this city. He knows so much. They're all talking about it. Interesting. At a certain point, I'd be like, I wouldn't want to party down here with everything going on, you know? I'd be terrified. There was a rat. We had an informant. Oh. We have big time information on Salvador Moroni. That's how we got him out of the drops business. Holy shit. Oh no, she's being watched by the by the Riddler. It sounds like it anyway. Oh, you need a ride? You shouldn't be driving anybody, bro. You're f***ing f***ed up. <laughs> I hope. Uh... Oh, Gil's probably about to die. I'll see you around. Oh, Gil, you won't. You won't, son. I'm so sorry to tell you you're next, bro. Oh, is it the guy in that car? Ooh. What an interesting shift of focus. Oh, he's in his car. Oh, it's his car. That's the one he pointed at. Oh, oh, f Gil. Oh, Gil. Oh, you're f you're f mate. You're done. You're done, Zo. Bye bye. Bye bye, Gil. Rough day. Oh, he's putting a metal thing over his face. Just hold What's happening? What did he put on him? Oh my God. I'm really enjoying how like, it's very rare that everything is very sharp and in focus and easy to see. It's so mysterious. Gil Coulson is missing. What? Oh, he's overhearing because Gordon doesn't know who he is. Yeah, just listening. What does wife say? She had heard from him. Oh God, what's going on? Uh-oh. Oh, protect the little kid, Bruce. You gotta just make sure that little kid's okay. A car's coming, something's coming. Is that him? Save the kid. Thank God, man. Thank God. Of course, though. Of course, right? Oh, and there's a cipher on the vehicle. Is it Gil's vehicle? Uh-huh. With his body in it? Mm-hmm. The brother's probably the guy that was standing up there watching, and he's gone now. Ah, well, this Riddler does put on a good show. I'm not going to lie. Is he alive? Is he alive? Christ, it's Coulson. There's a bomb around his back! For the Batman. Oh my god. Ay, ay, ay. I have a feeling Coulson's gonna die, unfortunately. Oh, he's still there. They're communicating with him this far away. Oh, is that a robot to defuse the bomb? It's not gonna work. He's gonna die. This is more torturous, I feel like, than any of the other ways people died because it's like slow, it's torturous process. In these trying times, never forget, I'm just a phone call away answer. Oh, goody. What if you don't answer? Because I feel like Gil's gonna die if we answer. Maybe he won't if we don't. It's probably f either way. Three riddles in two minutes. You give me the answers and Great. I'll give you the code for the lock. He's not gonna get, he's not gonna get, he's not gonna do it. It can be cruel, poetic, or blind, but when it's denied, it's violence you may find. Cruel, poetic, or blind. The answer's justice. Justice? Yes! Coulson, it's not gonna make a difference. You're dying, son. What is the price for your blind eye? Bribes. He's asking how much it costs for you to turn your back. Big, big. How much? Ten grand? Ten G's a month? I get a monthly payment just not to prosecute certain cases. What cases? He didn't ask me that. Come on. It doesn't matter. You're not gonna get it. Since your justice is so select, please. Tell us which vermin you're the rat. to protect. The rat. Who's the rat? What's his name? 20 seconds. No. If I go out this way, it's just me. But if I give over that name, I have family, people I love. They'll kill them too. Who will? Hang up the phone and tell Batman. Bye. Batman, why the f did you not back up, bro? Jesus Christ. He didn't back up. Son. Oh my God. I mean, damn, that guy, I do respect him for not giving up the rat in that moment, you know? 
I probably would have just hung up the phone though and told Batman. I'm mean, like, don't, don't, you know, let it get out. Oh, I'm surprised they're medically evaluating him without taking his mask off. At least they respect him a little bit. There we go. Never mind. Gordo is such a f badass to be like, just punch me in the face. Here's the key. Like, I'm about to get decked, so it's gonna be fun. Like, you know, make it believable. Is he getting shot? Oh my God. How's he gonna get away? He's gonna fly. It's time to fly. Okay, got it. Ah, I like that little perspective shift. That's fun. It's like we're on a ride. <laughs> oh, he's going really fast. That's scary. Ow! Stupid bridge. Is it her? No way. It's her. I really hope her friend is alive. Dangerous crowd you're stealing from. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Those assholes are coming back. Her friend. She's dead. Gordon, uh, Gordon, uh, Gordon, please don't die. Gordon, uh, Gordon, Gordon, uh, Gordon. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a very respectable man trying to protect Batman right now, but oh my God. Did he have a Batmobile with him? Yes. So spooky. Nice. Did she knock him out? Yeah. Well, she got some of the money. Good. She's probably pissed about her friend, man. I'm. It's, why did her friend have to die? Did she know too much? I mean, what the hell? Just because she was tied in with the mayor? This guy's crazy. Yep, he is. He is crazy. Yep, this guy's unhinged. And he's got a really fast car. And all of this going on in the rain. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's going the wrong way on the road. It's so stressful. You guys are going to hydroplane. Oh God, I'm so stressed for all these civilians on the road. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate stuff like this, man. Just pushing cars out of the way. Oh my, ah! I have a lot of issues when it comes to car accidents. I've been in a couple gnarly car accidents. So whenever I see stuff like this, it just stresses me out. Oh, he's causing a pileup to try to get out of the situation. But it might just, what if the penguin dies? Holy Oh, wow. Oh, no, barrels. This car just broke through it like it was nothing. Oh, a ramp. That's convenient. No, you just killed a bunch of innocent people. He's going to emerge through the flames right now. There he is. I feel really bad for all those other people that clearly died. Wow. The way this was executed is really just so well done and intense. I love the constant shifting of perspectives from like wheels of the car to like in a car. Ah, to this. Oh my God, the fire in half of the frame and then the rain on the ground. Oh my God, this is sexy. Hey Rob. A rat with wings, a stool pigeon, that's not you. What if it's Batman? What if he means Batman, which doesn't really, cause Batman has wings. It's like the voice Spanish I avoid. What? It's la. La Rata. Yeah, because it's a feminine. Am I the only one here knows the difference between L and La? Jesus. Eh. No habla espanol? <laughs> it's a rat with wings. You know what that sounds like to me? Batman. A friggin' bat. It does. It does. Actually, it does more than a penguin. I just don't understand how it could be him. Gordon really trusts Batman. Could you imagine? I feel like at this point, I would be really doubting. Although it wouldn't make sense for Batman to be behind all this, but I would be, I would just be like doubting things, you know? Oh, goody. How oh, they're communicating with the Riddler. Oh, my God. He will be soon. So it's a boy or a man. Uh-oh, not Gordon, right? I grew up from a seed. He really loves riddles. In a slum, I'll never know where I come from. Do you know what I am? Any idea? Yeah. He's really good at answering riddles. He's an orphan. Is it Batman? Are we talking about, are we talking about Bruce? He's talking about the old orphanage. One that burned down. Oh, the old orphanage. Oh. It was part of the Wayne estate. Right. I remember that orphanage. You guys realize I'm still here, right? You gonna tie me? How the hell am I supposed to get out of here? He's walking like a penguin now. That's really funny. Listen, you deserve that, dude. You like killed a ton of people on the highway just now. That's the least of your problems. You really, you need to go to jail. No guns. Yeah, man, that's your thing. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's your thing. <laughs> I'm gonna use a gun. Oh, an arrow and blood. That's fun. We love that. 
where it all began. Oh my god, are we only like halfway? Holy shit, this movie is so long. I believe in its promise. Is this a mayor speaking? And that's why I'm here today. Oh, it's Wayne, his dad. I want to bypass political gridlock to get money to people and projects who need it now. Riddler knows. Riddler knows who the Batman is. He knows. Man, he really knows a lot of- The victim is Bruce Wayne. Which is- Oh, he's gone. Is he gone? Is he speeding home? Alfred, is he worried about Alfred? Oh God, Alfred, why aren't you picking up the phone, Alfred? Oh God, you're not supposed to open that. Alfred, Alfred, why aren't you picking up the phone? Fireproof, there's gonna be a fire. <laughs> Throw it, Alfred, throw the bomb. At least he threw it, smart man, smart man. Is he dead? Alfred, is he alive, barely, is he? We sedated him. Oh, poor Alfred. Huh? Are her contacts turning back on? Does she still have them? Where are you? What's with the post-it note that says, where are you? Where can we go? Such a little voyeur, you know? Always like liking to like watch over things, watch over the city, watch other people, but never be seen, you know? Batman's kind of like a little voyeur, just not in like the cre ultra creepy way. That Falcone owes me that money. He owes you? Yeah. I want to know why a guy like Falcone would owe you anything. Because he's my father! Oh, Plot twist. Wow, I did not see that coming. All anyone cares about in this place are these white privileged assholes. Now Thomas and Bruce Wayne, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that psycho's right to go after these creeps. Oh. Uh. <laughs> what, do you live in a cave? He does live in a cave, that's funny. <laughs> Just don't make any moves without me, understand? It's a little more dangerous than you know. Is she, is she ever gonna find out that it's, that it's Bruce Wayne under there? And then be like, ah, <laughs> 20 years ago, one reporter set out to uncover the dark truth. He found shocking family secrets. Thomas Wayne tried to force this crusading reporter into a hush money agreement to save his mayoral campaign. But when the reporter refused, Wayne turned to longtime secret associate Carmine Falcone and had him murdered. I hope you're listening. Swing. Oh, he is. He's having a crisis, clearly. He's got a lot of eye makeup on. I'm not sure I like the choice of just having like all this eye makeup smeared on him and having him look like an emo punk kid. Is it true? What? A report of business. Yeah. Carmine, I want you to put the fear of God in this guy. And when fear isn't enough. Oh, no. Oh, he's losing it. Don't lose any sleep over it. He already is. This reporter was, uh, he was on Maroney's payroll. And, uh, and after what happened with that reporter, Maroney was worried that your father would be in my pocket. Mm-hmm. He would have done anything to keep him from becoming mayor. Yeah, is that why his parents got killed? His whole world is crumbling down. Like, his whole driving purpose was, like, based off of him believing his father was this incredible human being who wanted to do good, and he's trying to, like, raise the city of Gotham up based off of that. And it's like, oh, his father wasn't perfect, you know? He also was corrupt. Alfred. Alfred's a good man, though. He lied to me. Oh, is this that we're waking him up? Really? Can't let the man recover a bit more, Bruce. Your father was a good man. And in a moment of weakness, he turned to Falcone, but he never thought Falcone would kill him. To be fair, he did ask him to put the fear of God in him, not to kill him, so... But Falcone would do anything to finally have something on him that he could use. Yeah, right, to have blackmail, yeah. He told Falcone he was going to the police, that he would confess everything. Oh, is that why he died? Falcone kill him? It's probably a good thing that Bruce is hearing that... Oh, now he's like... I could have killed Falcone, but like you shouldn't do it. Although his name is Vengeance. Can we let Alfred rest and just say we're happy he's alive, Bruce? Take care of you. You needed a father, and all you had was me. I'm just realizing. Is this Andy Circus? I'm just realizing this right now. What the f is wrong with me? He's like such a chameleon, man. I'm not afraid to die. Alfred probably wishes you were afraid to die. I don't think Alfred wants you to die. Okay, thank you. Oh, the bat signal. That's not you? I thought it was you. Uh-oh. It's her. How does she know about it? Oh, they have met on this roof. Please, please, please don't hurt to me, please. Don't be scared. Veronica. You gave some information and some drops thing, and that's how he became mayor. Veronica, 
I bet her getting shot is gonna be on the voicemail. Rada, Lada. Falcon. The falcon has wings too. Falcon is the rat. Damn! So many creatures in this movie have wings! We work for him. Everybody does. Everybody. It's renewal. Holy shit. Renewal. Renewal is everything! The Riddler was right. But Falcone wanted more. So we orchestrated a play to take Moroni down big. Whoa. How did Gordon even avoid knowing about this? Like, how, he's just too good. He didn't get sucked in. He didn't know. This creep too. Let's finish this. No, no. no not him. Don't throw your life away. Don't worry, honey. Oh, no. She's gonna do it. I got nine of them. <laughs> That's a pretty great line. That's a pretty great line. I got nine of them. I was just hoping I could talk to you for a minute. Absolutely. So creepy. Like, I don't think I've ever seen his eyes. I don't think we've seen his eyes yet. It's just been hidden behind those sunglasses. Mr. Falcone. Vinny! Didn't I tell you? Sorry, Mr. Falcone. I really think you're gonna wanna see this. Uh-oh. I'll be right back. Oh, Vinny. Vinny, 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 Vinny. Look at her, she's pissed. It's for the best. It's for the best, girl. Don't worry. It's good. It's probably a good thing, okay? What is it? He just said he all made the deal with you. Oh, the phone call. He's realizing. Look at her stalking. She really is stalking like a silent cat. I'm Maria Kyle's kid. You remember her? Let's put down the gun, honey. This is for my mother. Did she get him? Did she actually get him? I don't think she did. Did she? Did she get him? I thought he ducked. No, she didn't get him. She just got the power out. Yeah. She's she's such a badass, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, I wouldn't even really be that upset if she got him, even though Batman doesn't want her to go down that road. She's just such a baddie. Holy moly. This is kind of reminding me of... That scene in Star Wars where you just see, is it Darth Vader when he like lights up his, his lightsaber? Like he's in pure darkness and he lights it up and then you see him because of his lightsaber. That's what that reminds me of. Oh girl, he's behind you. Batman, Bruce. Oh, is that why she has those long nails? She uses them as a weapon, huh? He has to pay. Selena. You don't have to pay with him. Yeah. Enough. What are you gonna do? I mean, you're just gonna let him get arrested and hope he actually does time in prison? He's got the whole city under his thumb. Don't you know you boys in blue work for me? He does now. And it's probably ruined his life. Ruined his day, to be honest, at the very least. I guess we don't all work for you. Oh. Yeah, some of them don't. All right, cool. I mean, I'm sure it's an act by some of them, but I'm sure a lot of them would be grateful to have him put away, though, instead of just continuous blackmail. You always just a gimp. In an empty suit. I'll spray paint your ass! Did he get shot? I shoot! I shoot! The Riddler did. The Riddler waited for a moment. God dang it! Bring him out to the light. Oh. The shots keep him up there! That's Riddler. I can't understand how Gordon could ever hear whatever Batman is saying. Like, if I was working with him, I'd be like, what? Excuse me. Uh, sorry. Could, could you repeat that? What? What'd you say? Who's up there? Riddler. Oh. Oh, the question mark. Okay. Yep. Oh, I think we found his home. Lieutenant, we got a witness here. So she saw someone come down the fire escape right after the shot. She said he went into the corner. Diner. The guy said by himself at the counter right now. Ah, uh, just like you'd see in like a 50s detective film. This just feels so old school and spooky. Oh, he has the glasses. He has the glasses. It's unfazed. What kind of face is he making? What the f He's so scary. What's in the cup? What's in the cup? Oh, a question mark. He really likes question marks and riddles. Mm-hmm. I'm nervous. Is there like, is something going on in here? Is this like building gonna blow up? I'm nervous. I'm nervous that this building's gonna explode because the rats are freaking out. Oh wait, are those not rats? This one's not a rat. Yeah, I was gonna say, the closed caption ruined it. It said bat. Is there one a bat? Is there a bat in there? Oh my God. Another note for him, fun. I feel really bad for the bat. Let the bat go, man. My confession. This isn't over. Uh-oh. His final post was last night. Oh goody. Some video. 
truth unmasked. It's gonna be about who he is, huh? Maybe this is all coming to an end. What is? The Batman. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think the video is like him revealing who the Batman is. Because he does love a good riddle. He would be the guy to solve it. Uh-oh. Riddler's asking for you. At Arkham. Oh, fun. You're a good cop. Oh. He's saying that to him because he doesn't know if he's going to see him again or their relationship's going to be different soon, maybe. Ew, why does he smile like this? It's so disturbing. They'll remember me now. They'll remember both of us. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude, you are so creepy. You know I was there that day. The day the great Thomas Wayne announced he was running for mayor made all those promises. Well, a week later he was dead and everybody just forgot about us. So you blame Thomas for that? Poor Bruce Wayne. Oh. He's jealous. I mean, well, he was an orphan too, yeah. Living in some tower over the park isn't being an orphan. I mean, he still is an orphan, but yes, some people had it much, 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 much worse. I see where the bitterness and resentment comes from. <laughs> I'm looking at the real you right now. My mask allowed me to be myself completely. No shame. Like furries. <laughs> You're gonna die. Oh, no, 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 He broke him. He broke him. You watched the whole thing together. What thing? Uh-oh. You mean you didn't figure it out? Oh, the last riddle? The last riddle? Was it in his apartment? Oh, God, what is it? Did you, Are you gonna blow up the city, bro? What is it? Man, these villains in Batman just love having these crazy puzzles and games and weird crazy scenarios in the last like 30 minutes that are like where the city's gonna blow up or something crazy is gonna happen. Kill Mitchell with a friggin' carpet tool. Is that a carpet tool? Martinez, you just helped him crack the code. Oh, is it under the carpet? Oh, Martinez. F yeah, dude. Is it the map of Gotham? A real change. Oh, the password. Tomorrow's election day. Mm. Did he plant detonators around that whole area where her election is gonna take place? And now it is time for retribution. Oh, there's lights. They're twinkling where the vans are. And on the big night, they will go Are they already blowing up? They're already starting. Oh, oh, he's too late. Oh, he can see. Why does he have a window in his cell? That's not fair. The flooding will happen so fast. Flooding. Situation will not be an option. It's too late. It's already happening. Oh. And that's where all of you come in. Oh, trying to get people to blow up that area too. Oh no. They all have the same outfits. Oh my god. Nobody saw these guys sneak in? What the f The security here sucks. It's not safe for you here. We need to get you out, Miss Real. I'm not going anywhere. We're under attack, man. Exactly. Problem with this city. Everyone's afraid to stand up and do the right thing, but I'm not. Excuse me. She's really good. She's a good person. But what if she gets killed? What if she gets killed? I think she already got shot. I think it's too late, Gordon. Oh, she got shot in her side. She might survive. He did try to tell you. That Batman? Yeah, buddy. F yeah! Oh my god, where's Catwoman at? We need her too. Oh no. Catwoman, where are you? Guys, everybody get out of the way. The thing's gonna fall down. Oh, it's so weird seeing Bella Real's face everywhere. Oh, and the place is flooding. That doesn't help. Oh, there she is. Come on, girl. He's hanging from change. It really is terrifying seeing the whole building flooding. I didn't realize that there was a seawall holding this city together. Oh, now it's like a horror movie. Yes, I love this. It's so spooky. It's great. Yeah, I'd be running away too. How the f did that not pierce his bulletproof vest? I feel like that was so close. That should have just killed him. Oh yeah, well, he doesn't have a bulletproof thing on his head. Nice job. Oh my God. Just in the nick of time. Great job, guys. It's done now. It's done. Is it? Did we get everybody? I'm nervous. I'm nervous for her, like she's gonna get stabbed in the back or something. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. God damn it. Okay, Gordon, we need you too, Gordon. What's that? What's that green stuff? Was that a shot of adrenaline? Holy 
Oh, he saved her. Good job. Oh my God. How is this man standing? He needs to go to a hospital. Although all the hospitals here are probably flooded. Who the hell are you? Me. I'm vengeance. They all saying they're vengeance? Jesus Christ. This is like a horror movie. Oh no. Oh no, they're all gonna die. Oh, and the water's gonna be filled with electricity too. Oh my God. He's gonna go in the water. Was there not another way we could have done that, Batman? You just sacrificed yourself. <gasps> Come on, you can survive. Oh, maybe he'll be fine. It was just a dramatic method. Okay, he's fine. Whew. Okay, well, I guess the water's not as deep as I thought. People are seriously f***ed up and hurt, though. He's gonna move all the stuff and save him. Oh, what a gentleman. Are they all scared of him? They're all scared of him. Oh, it's, that's the mayor. Oh, the kid, he's not scared of him. He knows. Oh, that's really sweet. It's gonna lead the way with a flare. Oh! Wow. The city is underwater. Yeah, the city's just now, it's like Venice. Except worse. I have had an effect here, but not the one I intended. Yeah, not the one you wanted. Vengeance won't change the past. I have to become more. People need hope. Yeah, I was just thinking. Yeah, you have to be a, a beacon of hope for them because right now they're just scared of you. Are they letting this Riddler watch TV? Why are they letting him watch TV? Isn't that just terrible? Uh-oh, who's talking to him? Raining on your brain like that? Oh no, who's talking to him? Are we setting up for another movie? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Is it the, a Joker? Is it another Joker? I don't know who that could be. Who else laughs like that? I feel like the Joker laughs like that, right? Don't you ever just say hello? Her cat. <laughs> Is she just picking one cat to go on the bike? I feel like you can't take all of them. Why don't you come with me? The bat and the cat. It's got a nice ring. Uh, duty calls. Mm, it's like he was leaning in for a kiss and she's backing away. Looks like they're on a building. Like, did she just carry a motorbike up here? Are they on a building? Like, did she bring her, her motorcycle up here? He did too. <laughs> you know, it could work. You guys both have a passion for motorcycles and black, but it's need different things at this point in your life. You're looking at the rear view mirror, yeah. I do agree with her, like that this city is too far gone. I mean, at this point, I've now seen like four Batman movies. Three were in the same style and, and then this one. But Gotham is just, it, it's like beyond repair, man. Like, I feel like that's the theme is all these villains just love like taking down corruption in Gotham, but also causing chaos because they feel slighted and looked down upon and mistreated. And so they want to tear the city apart and flip the power. And like, that's always what happens. I just don't know how you fix a city like this. Well, dang, this was really well done. I feel like with that little ending between whoever that other person in prison was and the Riddler, that that's setting up, we're going to get another Batman movie. I also just kind of always assume that with these superhero movies, you get more than one because uh, they're one of the few things <laughs> that are guaranteed to make money in the box office. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we see the Riddler again in the next movie. And I'm guessing that that character would be the Joker that he was talking to, but I'm not really positive. I'm not super, super familiar with everything when it comes to Batman. And I, I didn't read any DC comics, so I'm not familiar with all the characters. Although I had heard of the name the Riddler before. I've definitely heard of the Penguin before. I feel like these are names I've heard of. So yeah, if I had to guess, I'd assume it's the Joker. I really thought the style for this was really fun and interesting. I liked watching it play out like a detective noir piece. I thought the way they played with the lenses and keeping things really blurry. By two hours into it, my eyes were kind of starting to hurt. I'm not going to lie, but I thought it was a really interesting choice. And I liked that it was really tough to see what was going on a lot of the time, that stuff was really gritty and mysterious and dark. I hate it when things are too visible and when lighting just really kind of takes away all the mystery. So I enjoyed that there was a lot of mystery and things that were kind of difficult to see. The whole car chase scene was really well done, really cool and fun. Uh, that stuff <laughs> does stress me out. 
a lot because, you know, I live in LA. I live in a city where people are horrible drivers. And uh, I just, I have a lot of issues when it comes to car accidents and things. But I really like the way they executed that whole scene and uh, seeing it from the penguin's perspective when his car is flipped and he's upside down and we see Robert Pattinson walking towards him with the rain and fire both behind him just split perfectly by the horizon. It was really, it was really cool. Uh, really well done. I thought Paul Dano did a fantastic job. He really unsettled me. He was so creepy. I wanted to smack him so many times. Every time he was smiling, I was just hanging with his mouth open. I was like, ooh, I got skeeved out. Uh, he did a really, really great job with his performance. It's definitely hard to do sometimes um, when you're playing a villain in these kinds of movies, especially one that we don't meet for so long. When we finally meet that character, you know, you want it to be epic. And a lot of times actors are challenged with the task of doing something that makes sense for that character, but also is unpredictable and a choice that only that actor could make. And I think Paul did a pretty good job of that. It was uh, very unsettling and some of his choices were very unexpected yet really worked with, I think, the character he was going for. So yeah, <laughs> he had some really strong choices that skeeved me out and I thought he did a great job. I don't know why it took me so long to realize that Alfred was Andy Serkis. It, it wasn't until the hospital scene that I figured it out. Andy Serkis really is one of those guys who's a chameleon to me. It's like Andy Serkis, Gary Oldman. There's some other actors as well who are like that to me, but for some reason, I, I think it's just because I've seen him in such <laughs> jarringly different roles. I mean, Gollum is such a different thing and he's, you know, in all these effects and stuff, he's not like a human. Even the character he plays in Marvel is very different than this. I, I just feel like every time I see him, it's like, it can be tough to tell it's him sometimes, especially in this movie where the lighting was so dim and a lot wasn't really revealed. If you didn't really kind of know who people were playing, it could be confusing. So that was definitely... <laughs> Took me a little while, but uh, yeah, he did a good job. Everybody did a really good job with their performances in this movie, but I was especially moved by Paul Dano's performance. But I also think part of that, you know, I feel like always as an audience member, I'm really excited and interested to see who the antagonist is going to be and what they're going to do in their performance. And in a way, I have really high standards with that. But at the same time, if it's well written, which I think this character was, it can be one of the more fun parts to play. The only thing with these Batman movies is dang, they can be really long sometimes. Like when we were halfway through it, I'm like, geez, we still we still have an hour and a half to go. This is crazy. So that's my only complaint is these movies are kind of really long. Like I don't know if I would ever rewatch this just because it's such a project to sit down and watch this again. But uh, I would definitely not mind rewatching certain scenes or moments or clips again, especially to revisit things like cinematography style, color grading, lighting style, effects. There was a really interesting art style going on in this movie, and I really appreciated that. Man, these actors also just must have been wet 24-7. <laughs> every scene, it's raining. Every scene, there's water, there's flooding, there's rain. It's like, they, I feel like they never <laughs> got to be dry. <laughs> but yeah, it was a fun movie. I definitely enjoyed it, and I'm definitely curious to see what you guys think in the comments down below. I know... A lot of people have wanted me to watch more DC stuff. I did do a poll over on my Patreon page before watching this, asking if I needed to watch any other DC films before diving into this. Most people said no. Let me know if you want to see more DC movies, things like Man of Steel, Wonder Woman, those kinds of stuff. Um, I'm not familiar with this world like at all, except for Batman. So... I don't know much about DC, about that universe. So I would definitely love to know in the comments down below if that's something you guys want to see. But until the next video, that's all I really have for you guys in this one. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out. It lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye. My voice definitely cut out there on stay golden.